Hamilton and Mercedes furious at Verstappen's unacceptable driving style. So we're going to be going through that and three other stories in today's video. So make sure to like this video, and if you want more Mercedes news content like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel by hitting that red button down below. The first story is Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes lash out on Max Verstappen and Red Bull for their driving. Lewis Hamilton has hit back at hostile Max Verstappen after the Red Bull star pinned the blame on him for their collision at the Hungarian Grand Prix. Verstappen's car was lifted into the air after he locked up during a bid to overtake Hamilton on lap 63 and clipped his front right tire. The Dutchman's hopes of a podium finish evaporated as he finished fifth for the second time in three races, with Hamilton coming third behind McLaren pair Oscar Piastri and Lando Norris. Verstappen blamed Hamilton for his lockup, claiming it was because the Mercedes driver kept turning to the right, but now his foe has hit back, past a back marker, and I got into the braking zone, and then Max appeared. So I moved over to defend, Hamilton said. I left enough room on the inside, but Max locked up and he was going on a different trajectory to me. Was going around the corner, and he came shooting across. It felt like a racing incident, and it is easy to make mistakes like that, so I don't feel there should be any hostility, but of course, from his side, there always will be. It was a stellar result for McLaren, who claimed their first 1-2 finish since 2021 and Oscar Piastri's maiden GP victory to close the gap on Red Bull. While there were tensions over Lando Norris's seeming initial refusal to let Piastri pass him on team orders. The result puts McLaren 51 points off Red Bull. Norris himself is 76 points off three-time world champion Verstappen with 11 races remaining. Verstappen, winless in three races, had vented his frustrations over Hamilton following their skirmish. Attacking from a long way back, Verstappen had attempted to overtake Hamilton into turn one, but ended up clipping the Mercedes driver's right front tire and went flying through the air. I went for a move that was fully on, he said, but then in the middle of the braking zone when I'm already committed to the move, he suddenly just keeps moving right. If I wouldn't have turned while braking straight, I would have made contact with him. So naturally I lock up because he just keeps on turning to the right. People always made a lot about what happened in Austria and what was not correct, blah, 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 blah. But that's on the initial move. And then you just break straight. I felt like now was not on the initial move, but afterward, during the braking zone, he keeps turning right. You cannot do that when someone is committed to the inside. That's why I locked up because we would have collided anyway because he turned in on me. For the third race in a row, Mercedes has beaten Red Bull Racing. Recently, the German team has been making great strides, and that is reflected on the track, while Red Bull has been struggling more and more. Toto Wolf responds to GP Blog and others on whether the competitive picture has changed at the team that has been dominant since 2022. In Austria, Mercedes was still beating Red Bull because of the chaos between Lando Norris and Max Verstappen. At Silverstone, this was already no longer the case, and at the Hungarian Grand Prix, the Dutchman also struggled more with the Mercedes speed than before. Despite this, Wolf told after the Hungarian Grand Prix, I don't know if we were faster than Max today. We beat him on the track, probably not on pure race time. But you have to admit that McLaren is clearly in the lead now in all conditions. They deserve a one and two. That's the new benchmark. Wolf continued. It's great that we have another team that has made a jump and can finish first and second. That's good for all of us. But under these conditions, we were just never good. We weren't at the level to reach them. The second story is Lewis Hamilton would stay at Mercedes with new form. George Russell is so sure of Mercedes form and future prospects, he is convinced teammate Lewis Hamilton would not have signed for Ferrari had he known what was coming. Seven-time world champion Hamilton, Formula One's most successful driver of all time, stunned the sport when he announced in February he would be racing for the Italian team next season. Mercedes failed to win a race in 2023, their first season-long blank since 2011. 
and Hamilton had not stood on the top step of the podium since 2021 until the British GP earlier in July. The former champions are now chasing a third successive victory at this weekend's Hungarian Grand Prix, with Hamilton, 39, triumphant for a record ninth time at his home British race, and Russell in Austria. I don't think he would have left if the team was performing like this. No way he would have left, for sure not, Russell told Reuters. As tough as these last few years have been, it really feels like we've got the momentum with us now. Ferrari have also won twice this year, but their recent form has dropped off and they are in danger of losing second place to resurgent McLaren. I think everybody wants change at some point, Russell said of Hamilton. He's been here 12 years now. He's achieved so much with the team. I think for him, it's exciting to have that change. But of course, if the team you're currently with are winning races, and everything is looking super great for the future, you just want to be in the fastest car possible, and it doesn't matter what color that is. Russell, 26, was on pole in Canada and at Silverstone, and was a fortunate winner in Austria in June after Red Bull's championship leader Max Verstappen and McLaren's Lando Norris collided. The Britain set the fastest lap at Imola in Italy, and his compatriot Hamilton did so in Monaco and Canada. It's been an incredible turnaround. At the start of this year, we knew we were taking two steps back with the car to give ourselves the possibility of three steps forward, Russell said. When you start the season on the back foot, you kind of question yourself. Have you made the right decision? But the improvements we brought to Montreal have delivered so much performance and lap time. We've led the last four races at various points, We've been without doubt the quickest in qualifying and the race in two of those four races. It's really exciting. It's come at a great time for us. It just kind of feels like it's clicking now. Russell credited technical director James Allison, who returned full-time last year as a key figure in the turnaround at a team that has stayed united despite the difficulties. It just kind of feels like the Mercedes of years ago, he added. It's never one person, but just having James taking all the ideas and steering in the right direction and empowering the people to go and do it has been great. Russell, who has outqualified Hamilton at 10 out of 12 Grand Prix this season, although there is, always, there is only one point between them in the standings, said he was performing better than ever. I don't think there's ever been more than a tenth or two splitting the two of us, and that gives me a lot of confidence, he said. In a different era, I know I'd have been fighting for world championships. Now I hope this is our time to come, from now onwards. The third story is Mercedes keep very impressive. Kimi Antonelli on F1 2025 radar in fresh driver update. Kimi Antonelli has been rumored to be one of Mercedes' favorite choices as a replacement for Lewis Hamilton in the upcoming F1 2025 season, and trackside engineering director Andrew Shovlin had more praise for the young star ahead of the Hungarian Grand Prix. Shovlin pointed to Antonelli's very impressive CV and his natural talents as the primary reasons for Mercedes' interest. When Lewis Hamilton announced his move to Ferrari for 2025, Mercedes knew it would have some big shoes to fill but it wasn't long before the Brackley-based outfit expressed its interest in young Kimi Antonelli. Italian racer Andrea. Kimi Antonelli is just 17 years old, but has already made a strong impression in the motorsport world. Speaking to media ahead of the Hungarian Grand Prix, Shovlin elaborated on why Mercedes had been so interested in the young driver in the first place, saying, his speed is the main thing. He's gone through the series very, very quickly. It wasn't long ago that he was driving go-karts. He's now in F2. He's testing an F1 car with us. He's got a very impressive CV for someone so young and no doubt he'll have a bright future. But he looks like one of those naturally gifted talents that everyone's trying to find. That's some extremely high praise. Ever since a teenage Max Verstappen was pushed through the feeder series ranks to Formula One, many teams have been looking to find that once-in-a-lifetime young talent that they could shape with their team in mind. Antonelli certainly appears to be one such driver, at least as far as Mercedes is concerned. But is Antonelli the right choice? 
At the start of 2024, Mercedes seemed to be in dire straits. The once dominant team had fallen out of the battle at the front of the pack, and there would certainly be a great benefit in throwing something entirely new at the wall to see what sticks. But recently, Mercedes has found its stride. Victories by both Hamilton and George Russell have shown that the team has more potential than expected, even as the W15 still struggles on hot tracks. For some teams, that turning of the tides might be enough to convince it to sign a more experienced driver and not take a risk on new talent. But according to Shovlin, that's not about to happen. To be honest, where we're racing doesn't really affect driver decisions, Shovlin said. We want the two best drivers, and we need to make the best car, and the team are going to focus on that. If you get those ingredients right, you'll do fine. 